Welcome back to another episode of Sleeping Giants Red Star Belgrade. Now, you might think that my voice sounds a little bit different, and that's because it probably does. And the main reason for that is because I'm using a different microphone. I actually spent some time yesterday setting up my Blue Yeti, which I've been meaning to do ever since Christmas. But, of course, it's been a little bit different, uh, difficult because it was making all kinds of annoying noises with my laptop because of the power cables and stuff. And But now I think I've got it to a point where it's actually sounding quite tasty. Um, you know just they're quite sensitive microphones so it's quite difficult to get them to sound good but i think i found a setting that kind of works me now then a couple of audio plugins on top of that and we are all good to go other thing is my webcam turned up yesterday which is awesome um and that means that later today um in terms of when you're watching this today um the portsmouth episode later should in fact feature face cam if it all goes to plan it may not do i just i don't know but yeah i've had a few issues with that as well so hopefully everything is going to go okay i'm just going to close the door Right, there we go. Okay, so with that in mind, let's get into today's episode. Now, in the last episode, we managed to get a draw with Bayern Munich, which was bloody brilliant, and just gave me that faint little bit of hope that we could actually achieve something great this season, and that would be awesome for us. It really, really would. So we got to work very, very quickly. Our first game of the month was against uh, Bazania, FK Bazania. Let me just make sure I've got it on, uh, not Key Highlands. Well, I always do that. I always go to the wrong menu there. We want it on tv oh yes um basancic had an absolutely wonderful game it was sort of he was rolling back the years to the kind of performances that he gave last season you know which ones i mean um antic with the ball here Rakowski brings it back savicevic some lovely work here despotovic has two two pops at it but in the second attempt gets it in the back of the net we were much much better than them. they did have some decent chances though i have to say and carryman did a decent job of keeping them out so fair play to him on that one um Literally directly from the kickoff after that, though, we got ourselves a little bit more uh, cushy, shall we say. Um, it took a little while to break them down, but once we did, it was uh, pretty plain sailing, as have most of the league games we've played this month been very plain sailing for us. Although, you know, we were always going to get to this stage where we were dominating the league, which is why I'm not particularly bothered about showing you guys that many of the league games, because it is just, I barely even have to, I don't even have to touch the tactics most of the time, uh, because we're so dominant. It's mostly, pretty much, we've essentially got ourselves like a plug-and-play style tactic for a dominant team in a league, which, what a ball that was as well. Uh, Despotovic now have a little run, goes through a couple of guys, go back to Otto, but eventually the ball is going to come to Borsanchic, and watch this for a strike. Oh, yes. Bottom corner, lovely old job. Um, hopefully you enjoyed last night's episode in 1080p. It should look slightly better. I'm working on some ways to improve the quality even further. It's just basically, the video files are actually good when they're recorded, but my video editing software is taking away some of the quality during the render, and I think that's because of the bitrate I'm recording at. Uh, sorry, rendering at. And as you can see there, Bosanchich putting in the third for us. So I'm hoping that um, by increasing the bitrate, the file size might get bigger, but I found a way to decrease that. I should be able to increase the quality of the videos a little bit more. So we're just sort of slowly creeping towards and tweaking and tweaking and tweaking until I can get some really, really high quality stuff. Um, but hopefully everything should, it shouldn't ever get worse. It should only ever get better. That's what I'm saying. So if it's good right now, it's only ever going to get better. Um, in our next game, we had FK Rad, who were, of course, struggling. They're 15th in the league. They're currently sitting languishing in the relegation zone. And this was a strange game. Like, we dominate, we dominate the game. There's no way of, no two ways about it. We were absolutely dominant. It just... Didn't really show it on the pitch, really. Uh, Lazic bringing it down from a corner there and making it 1-0 to us, the central defender. He had an absolutely wonderful game. They only managed two shots. We really should have scored more goals in this one. But we kept a clean sheet, and that, for me, was a, a really good sign. Getting some confidence in Harriman was great. And another set piece. Antic with the ball in. Comes out to Despotovic. He has a long-range effort, but along the line there, Lazic can put in his second of the game and our second. And that was all we really did in that game. Um, it was really strange. Two quick ones from him, and the rest of the game, we just battered them, but were unable to actually get ourselves the winner. Uh, not the winner, you know what I mean. The... I don't know, I really want to see like a 5 6 7 nil win. Like it, I feel like this team is capable of it, and we're getting it. Now, in our next game, I think it was... Oh, Luka Jovic actually started that game, but didn't play that well because he wasn't fully fit. We played against Porto away, and when you look at these stats, look at what we did. We managed to get 55% possession away from home against Porto, and they only got... They were, to be fair, at half-time they'd had... Four shots, none on target. And it was mostly their second half performance that made them better. Unfortunately, we missed a couple of really good opportunities. And when the ball came to him here, the ball, so much place for Varela, turns and goes straight underneath Harriman. And that ruined me because I just thought that's our chance gone. Bear in mind, 
the bad news that Red Bull Salzburg actually got a bloody draw with Bayern Munich. Strachwellers, who scored a penalty for us, though, in the 86th minute, which gave us just that faintest bit of hope. So in today's episode, it literally is all or nothing. Um, we have to win, which is so... I mean, we would have had to win anyway, unless, of course, we won in Porto, which was going to be very unlikely. It's just... It's really frustrating because we... Like, Red Bull Salzburg have... Well, they beat Porto, didn't they? I mean... Or well, they got a draw. They, they've been a, a decent side, and the problem with them getting the draw against Bayern Munich is it means that we have to beat them and by a certain number of goals. Whereas if they'd have draw, if they'd have lost to Bayern Munich and we'd have beaten, uh, sorry, drawn with Porto like we did, we'd have only had to win to get third place. But that also earned us another eight, uh, another four hundred thousand pounds. So that's eight hundred k we've earned from Trans Champions League. We seem to be doing better this time. We sort of, I think we almost gave them too much credit and started trying to play our defensive tactics against them. And look at where it led us. You know, it, it just didn't work. We could see five goals in each of those last two games. But since then, we've been superb. Um, the problem is. Today, I'm pretty certain of it, that we need to win by three goals at least. It may even be more than that. Um, let me just look at the stages and so we can see this properly. So we've scored 14. No, we've scored five goals and they've scored nine. So if we won 3-0, they'd... I don't know whether it's head-to-head -head or... I don't really know how that works at the moment. Let me just check. Yeah, so it is actually done a head-to-head, -head, isn't it, clearly? Because they've got a worse goal difference. So, oh, that would be interesting because it would be done on away goals then because we got two or would it then go to goal difference i don't really know how it works so i'm a little bit worried we basically need to try and win by four goals which is going to be an absolute mission so the way we're going to do it well actually let's just quickly show you the squad first so top goal scorer for us, of course is luka Jovic with 17 in 17 uh rakowski has nine he got injured in the last game and, and it was a serious one so he had to go off immediately but thankfully it wasn't that serious and in fact he's now fine so that is good uh, but we have lost nikola antic which is a big miss for us he is a wonderful fullback so that could be the one big issue for us um assist wise of course it's Mohamed Otu with 12 he's sort of laid off a little bit now but still doing brilliantly uh most part of the match is still him pass rating is well Cernic has still got a good pass rating but again has yet to contribute anything else despite being often played in that playmaker role so we might need to look at that um red cards there as you can see average rating is Gavrich still although he is nearly back fit yet but not quite so basically that's the system they're playing. We obviously can't qualify for the next round of the Champions League. Um, I don't know why, though. Like, you, oh, Why are Bayern, Bayern qualified? For me, surely that... Oh, because they've got a better head-to-head -head record against Red Bull. Yeah, of course. Um, so, what I'm going to do is go with our control tactic, which has worked for us in the last few games. We're at home as well, so they'll be trying to maybe just nick a draw, you'd like to think. And try to get us... You know, do what we do in the first half. In the second half, if it gets to like sort of 55 minutes and we're still, and say we are winning, we are just going to throw everything at them. Like just as much as is physically possible. So Jovic, Otu, Karaklic and Savicevic, that is not good. Rakowski, oh, he's not, he can come on because I really do not want to be, hmm. Well, Sanchez is good there though. Pekovic, Lazic, Planic and El Monier is in. That could be a worry. He's my one worry as well from that. But he's not a bad player. He's just no Nikola Antic. But that's the best we can really do. Um, Despotovic, is fit, but I'd much rather have Jovic and Otto. That's our first choice strike partnership. And if we can get something out of them, that'd be glorious. So let's get into this game and just hope beyond hope that we can come up with something miracle-like. Um, let me make sure we've got that on 2D Classic. It, it should be a good game. I just, I worry for us. I, I really, really do. I, I just think that we might be able to beat them, but I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them by that amount of goals. I mean, we're good, but... I don't know. The confidence is high lately, which is one good thing. We, we really do have, as you can see here, very, very good or superb or occasionally good on El Monia, um, sort of morale for the team, which is great. Um, tell the team, yes, they are expected to pick up where they left off. We've been winning a lot of games lately. We're unbeaten in our last two European games, which is awesome. Um, let's just go for it, guys. We're on control. We can change that to attacking or even overload later in this game if I see fit and we need to, but much, I'd much rather just stay on control and just try and pick the goals off if we can. Unfortunately, we've not scored four for quite some time, even in the league against weaker opposition, so that is my worry. But Ristic is starting today, so hmm, Ristic and Basantic in the midfield should provide a decent partnership in there. It's just my worries are the wingers. Basantic here. Can he pick a pass? Out to Zavisevic. Needs to look behind him, really. Can he look out wide? He does. For Pekovic, that's just about going to stay in. Ball across. Jovic! Zavisevic! Oh my god, he's missed it. 
what a save from the goalkeeper. We could have been up 1-0 inside three minutes here. That would have been the perfect start to this game for us. And frankly, that would have been exactly what we needed. Ristich, Planic, and it's back away. But that's a good start from us. We're getting a lot of the ball. Um, Planic, don't lose it. Lazic, Ristic, we're getting a serious amount of the ball in the opening few minutes of this game, which is exactly what we're going to need for this game. They're probably going to let us have it, and so we need to make the most of it when we do get it. Planic, Karaklec, oh God, what a chance that was. That could have been 1-0 so quickly, and then the pressure would have been on them because they would have started retreating even more because they know that they can't lose by four goals, but they can still lose by a certain amount of goals. And we do need to try and, oh dear, things, start to be, things look like they're starting to swing back a little bit now. Uh, though we're still getting a lot of the possession. Hmm. We've not really done anything overwhelming just yet. I've oh God, I've I wish that the instruction wasn't there. Even when you've got 80% possession in games, they're still saying, oh, you've been overrun in the midfield. Hmm, clearly. Um, Bosancic, maybe a long-range effort from him. Jovic, can he turn? Can he shoot, maybe? Please don't shoot from there. Pekovic, whips it in. Bosancic, oh, he's at the crossbar as well now. Oh, my God. We just aren't getting the luck today, are we? Great save by their goalkeeper for the first try, and now we've hit the crossbar as well. That could have been two goals up. Savicevic, don't you dare shoot from there. What are you doing? Like, seriously. Oh, has he saved it? Still, that was another chance. If he could have pulled that back, we maybe could have got ourselves another one. Or well, not another one, but we could have got the first one. Oh, this is not looking good for us. Like, we look like we probably will end up winning this game at the moment, because we've been playing better, but then our luck's not really been in in Europe in terms of um, playing better. Like, look how well we played against Porto and lost 5-1. Oh, that's poor. Don't let Allen get anywhere near the goal. Not that they've really done that so far anyway, but just don't let them. Ilsonka. Oh, wow. That's a lot of space for Trippic out on the right. Don't go and concede now. Oh, Lazaro knocks it through for Allen. Good save from Karaman. That's better. Good stuff from him. That's their first real chance of the game. But 40 minutes into this game, we're already wasting. I mean, we've had some good chances and we've not put them away. And I think that's probably going to be the bit that comes back to haunt us in this one. Everything... Well, revenge is on the cards, yeah, but we need to just go out there and absolutely... I'm going to switch it to attacking for this second half because control, yeah, fine, but we need a little bit more for uh, a little bit more further forward. Um, no, I actually don't want to clear in the flanks because our wingers are not our strong suits at the moment, but I might be able to bring on Rakowski in a bit and maybe we'll s switch that when we do get that opportunity. Um, I'm not going to go shoot on sight or anything like that just yet. We're not desperate, um, although we do need four goals. It would be an absolute miracle if we did this right now. But look what we've done in previous games in this league. Uh, not league, but in the Champions League. Look what we did against PSV Eindhoven last season. Where we, or was it Feyenoord? I think it was Feyenoord, actually. Bosancic with the ball in. Savicevic cleared. Kareklic. Oh, they've won the ball. All comes back to Otto. Go on. 1-0. There we go. 47 minutes. Red Star Belgrade 1. Oh, Red Bull Salzburg 0. Now, I don't know if a 3-0 win would be enough. Providing... Would that then go down to um, goal difference? Sorry, or like away goals in the head-to-head -head or something. Or would it go down to goal difference? Because then we'd still need four, and I don't know. That's one, though. That's the first one. We need more of that. In fact, I'm just going to do a team talk and tell them to push forward. Rakowski will be coming on soon. Um, probably for Karakliic. No, actually, I need to bring him on. I need to bring him on for Savicevic, just because that's the attacking side, and that's where Rakowski is he's most dangerous. Oh, no, don't let them equalise. Please don't let them equalise. Oh, what the hell? There was two of them there. Oh, well. It just, you know, just happens, doesn't it, really? <laughs> I mean, it looked like there was two guys on the post. Big header and... Oh, well, thanks for walking past the goalkeeper and not actually bothering to try and stop the header. Good stuff. Well, that's us pretty much done for, isn't it? Um, right. We're going to go make substitution now. Rakowski's coming on. Oh, man. He can't come off. Savicevic, well I can, but who the hell would I bring on? Um, Savicevic is coming off. Because he's absolutely woeful on the other wing, and at least correctly, can he can actually play there. Right, we are going to go on overload now. Because we have no choice other than to try and win this 5-1 now. I don't know if a 4-1 would do it, but... They've really stepped it up a notch in this second half, somehow. Um, this doesn't appear to be happening. Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah, lots of space. Um... Another substitution. Maybe try and get the spot of it on because Jovic has really not been great today, unfortunately. God, it's... <sighs> oh, we've not been bad. We've not been great. They've not been great. I mean, we've certainly not deserved to win it so far. Uh, Otto. 
Although we, I really would at least like to win this game. Get our first ever Champions League win under our belt. Earn us another 800,000. Despotovich, through the channel. It's Otto again. Oh my God, what is that shit? I mean, fair enough if the goalkeeper saves it from that angle, but for the love of God, hit the target. I mean, <laughs> we were never going to win this game, were we? They'll probably get a long range shot or a goal from a corner in a sec so don't worry uh good ball down into the corner for despotovich we just need to be bombing forward right about now i am going to hit it shoot on site because we just need to get some shots frankly um get bosancic on the ball have him oh what was that get onto it oh. now we're, we're second to every ball now bitaiki probably find he'll slot this in from a ridiculous angle oh that's a woeful effort as well <laughs> it's the day of the woeful efforts right here we go Ball in from a corner. Lazic, and of course it's blocked. Otu. Bosancic turns. Ooh, 2-1. No, no chance. But we are going to at least win the game. Which, if nothing else, gets us our first ever win in the Champions League. Um, at the 12th time of trying. But, hey, it's another £800,000. Which would give us, you know, 600... Uh, 1, 000, no, 1.6 million this time around. And hopefully the win in the Champions League might just, I don't know, boost the coefficient we've got. Oh, we've actually got the same amount of points as we got last time around, haven't we? Um, oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, to me. To you. I do love that bit where you score and they immediately equalise <laughs> before you've got a chance to do anything. Woeful defending again. Allen's through. And that is us out of the Champions League. Not that we didn't already know that. It's just I really wanted to win a game. And frankly... Oh, I don't believe it. Two stupid lapses in concentration and just bad defending has cost us there. We've scored twice, and I think that should have been enough for us to win the game. I mean, it was fairly even, but we should be winning that. Oh, what a load of... Oh, well. There we have it, guys. Um, third draw in a row. We're back to getting the draws in the Champions League. I'm hoping that next season we'll get a better draw and stuff, and hopefully we'll have some slightly better players also what i was going to do which i've completely forgotten about is turn on some leagues uh, so what we're going to do, do this right now add remove leagues right we've only got serbia on at the moment so people wanted to see other parts of the balkans which is fair enough so we're going to go for we're going to go for croatia i'm only going to turn the top leagues on for these countries just because we're not going to get anyone decent from their lower leagues very unlikely anyway we're going to turn on the czech republic we are going to turn on hungary we're going to have... Who else are we going to have? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to... Just because I've gone past them now doesn't mean I'm not going to add them. We're going to add Romania. Yeah, we're definitely going to have Romania. Um, they'll start kind of at random times throughout the next sort of, yeah, uh, season. So, um, oh, Ukraine. Yeah, definitely Ukraine. Right. So that's that. Now I want to add in just like the... I want to go Belgium. I might add in the top two leagues actually in Belgium. Um, Holland. Definitely Holland. Top two leagues for them as well. Um, the computer should be fast. I mean, it's been running stupidly fast so far. So we're also going to add in top two English leagues as well because championship players could be potential. Um, well, not championship players, but, you know, eventually we're going to have to get to sign these players. Germany going to do the top two leagues because we've already signed from the Bundesliga uh, second league, so that's not bad. France, sure, why not? Um, Spain, Liga Adelante, um, Portugal, mini Portugal too. Probably just the top tier in Portugal though. Um, I am also going to add in, I don't want to overdo this, but we're going to go for Sweden, Denmark, and Norway, probably. And that's no offence to the Finnish League, oh, and also Poland. There's no offence to the Finnish League. Um, and the reason I'm just going for European Leagues at the moment is because... I will add in more leagues later on. Don't worry about that. So before you think that I'm not going to... In fact, let's just, um, for now, take Brazil as well, um, just in case. So yeah, that's what we're going to go for now. So we're going to add in quite a few more leagues. There's 15 countries now in the game, uh, as opposed to one. So they'll slowly start filtering into the game as things go. So that's going to be that. We're going to confirm that, and they'll add in as and when. Most of them, in fact, I think all of them in 2017 now. Uh, oh no, so Sweden will actually start in uh, December, so we'll get Sweden first. They'll be the first new league to be added into the database, uh, I think. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. That's what we're going to go with for now. Um, 
I might chop and change things depending on how things go, but we just need to add some more leagues. I mean, that's going to add a lot more players into the database, and that's going to give us a much wider choice when it comes to picking people that will fit the team. So, there we go. Um, again, sorry about the Champions League mess-ups there. I mean, the fact is we've got drawn our last three games against some really decent opponents and i think maybe using the control tactic in europe will work for us just as well as the other tactics so that means next year we'll be trying that one out a lot more and hopefully we've done enough to earn ourselves a better coefficient and that means that we can at least be seeded for the champions league um playoffs and stuff which would be much much easier because it means we wouldn't have to play someone like olympiacos next time to get through so guys, if you'd like what you've seen, please feel free to drop a like on the episode. And if you'd like to even more than that, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode where I will probably be doing... I'll probably do the Vovodina game since we've got... No, actually, wait. That'll be probably too many. Yeah, I probably will do the Vovodina game. So we'll do... Yeah, we'll have Chukur HQ. We've got our uh, cup game. And we've also got January. We've got some... Maybe bring in some players. I don't know. We'll have a little look. So there we go. We'll probably do the uh, Vovodina game. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.